keep no worries keeping twinter entertained we are now live on youtube as well thanks everyone for joining as well recording inspiration nation hello as i like to say jose and leah here ryan unfortunately can't make it this week we're hoping he might do in a run-in but we'll have to see what happens but yes yeah. as joe said there for the um I was going to say the Twitter verse, but it's the TikTok verse, isn't it? What are we talking about this week? What is the quote? Who is the man this week, or this woman? Week. This week we're talking about Mahatma Gandhi and we're talking about be the change you want to see in the world. I let it out of the bag there. I already knew it was a man, see? So what's the quote again, Joe? Sorry. Be the change you want to see in the world. Okay. That is the, the quote. Um, now, thank you so much for liking on there. Thin like to the live. Thank you so much. I'll tell you what, amazing. Already getting loads and loads of likes. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So, what this is about for me now, it's really interesting because I actually did um, research it because you did, you yours, and I, I don't really like research quite, so I just like, I like them because it's inspiring. But I found out that he didn't actually say it, apparently. He didn't actually say it. It was a Facebook quote. We're off to a bad start here already. It was a Facebook quote that put in his name that, 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 that it was just alluded to that was what he would say. So that's really interesting to me because I absolutely love the quote. I don't care who said it, it's amazing. Um, because this is something I always encourage. And I suppose the fact, I suppose it's a good question about this, that you know, as long as a quote works, right? I think it's what you said just last week about I am the greatest from Muhammad Ali. If it's like an affirmation, if you want to do these things, these things will happen. So for me, I always talk about, let's make sure that we don't moan about stuff. We talked about this on the podcast. Remember the time we talked on the podcast very early days? How to avoid the moaning club. I'm going to take a guess at episode 14, but let me have a look while you fill us in on oh, your okay. choice. This is, this is really important because, you know, we talked about moaning clubs and this is something I'm really passionate about because I, I you know, best win the world, I, I entered into moaning clubs before I really sort of became aware of personal development. It's very nice to moan, but it's you get into this role of moaning, but nothing ever happens. So what I say to people, if you encounter um, negativity, if you encounter challenges, do good. Like be, be, be the good. So be the change you want to see. So if you are not liking what you're saying, if you're saying people being super negative, why don't you just become positive and a starter? Start something, take some action. If there's a problem, what's the solution? Can you come up with a starter for six? Like, okay, if there's a big problem, you just, just break the problem down and start something, start small and start to break the problem down and be the change you want to see. If there's a lot of, you know, negativity, be that person that tries to go against the tide, swim against the, whatever the, the, the yeah, swim against the tides, I think. I'm trying Your to analogies are going well here. I like it. Well, swim against the tide. That's what I love that <laughs> because it's hard. But at the same time, it's, it's important because if you do want to see change, if you just moan about it, nothing ever happens. It only happens through action. And I think I said last week, deeds, not words. Deeds, not words. Words are powerful, but you have to follow them up with words. Deeds, sorry, I could it right in a minute. <laughs> I have to follow, up with, follow it up with deeds. Otherwise, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't happen. Nothing happens. It just, we just go in the, right, in the cycle and nothing ever happens. It feels good, but it doesn't happen. So that's my uh, initial opening thoughts, Lee. I like it. I like it, Joe. Um, episode 10, by the way, all the way back. I've got to lift my phone up because my squiffy eyesight. 16th wow. of May, 2019. Wow. That's, wow. That's a long time ago, isn't it? It is. Wow. But I think you're right. And and it's I do like that you referenced that episode and what we talked about then because it is the, the, the crux of that is your mindset. And it's very easy to get pulled in with the negativity. And... It, it creates itself, doesn't it? It becomes self-perpetuating and you kind of, you, you risk end up in, in, in an echo chamber where everyone says the same thing, everyone agrees the same thing and it gets louder and louder and louder and much like last week, again with the affirmations, it becomes the truth if everyone says it and that that same theory, that same principle can be used for the positive like you say. So actually if you want to live in a positive world that starts with you you have to be positive you have to push that positivity swimming against the tide is a great analogy for it actually because you will get resistance with that i've i've found that not to say that i'm always the voice of positivity but i try and be on the optimistic side far more than the pessimistic side and you can get sometimes i've found you can get resistance just for the fact you're optimistic or that you are looking for the solution or the good in something rather than just buying into you know sitting in the negativity to to steal a joseism there 
so I really do again say and I know I keep asking you but we we both for everyone out there listening watching with us live me and Joe have just rushed off minutes after we both finished work so I think we're we're slightly all over the pace we didn't have our usual preamble beforehand which is why Joe said 10 analogies in one and I keep forgetting the phrase so what is it again say it again for me just the exact words be the change you want to see in the world that's it and I think that's it so you you can drive that positivity or if if something can be done better or looked at better or looked at a different way, you, you've got to put that out there. You can materialise that into the world. You can speak it into existence just like you can do with negativity as well. So I, like you said, it's got attributed to um, Gandhi online. And this, this is a thing I've seen this loads of places where there's quotes and then you're seeing comments that this person never actually said that. But I suppose, does it even matter if it takes on a life of its own, if it sends a positive message, as long as it's getting out there, does does it really matter if Gandhi or whoever else ever said that or didn't say it, as long as it's something you can believe in? This, yeah, I agree, I don't think it does, it doesn't matter, but obviously it gives a bit, it, it, it encourages people to do it more because of... It's the credibility it builds it's to it, yeah. It. yeah. But I think it's valuable, whatever you, whoever said it. But, you know, I mean, I, I researched it and I researched it very quickly. So it could be that that's just, you know, someone's just put a post that online and it's not right. Because, you know, who, who, I don't know. I wasn't with Mahatma Gandhi when he said it. Who was? I don't know who the witness is. But it doesn't really matter, is, is what you said is absolutely right. And I use this a lot when I train and I do coaching because it's so easy, especially in businesses and in anything, our families, wherever. Because we can say, well, we want things to be this way, unless you, like you said, Lee, but it doesn't happen without someone actually starting to do it. So, I, I, you know, the best one in the world, we can have brilliant businesses, brilliant companies, but there's always going to be that negativity. And I always say to people, if you see that, you've got to be the person that steps up and just does, does the thing what you want to see. If you're, if you're saying, oh, we're not very positive, here. well, be positive. Oh, we're not really helpful. Well, be helpful. But, so it just perpetuates and you and it's the hardest thing in the world to do because like Lee said you're going to get a ton of resistance especially if neg- there's no negativity if negativity is grabbed hold it's one of the hardest things to swim against negativity because negativity is really powerful and I don't know whether I referenced this before but I read a HBR article that it was feedback but it's a similar perspective it takes like um, if you get um, so like two pieces of negative feedback you need six or seven pieces of positive feedback to negate the two pieces of negative so negativity is much more is stronger that's why we really have to make a conservative effort to really do the change um, and also I think you also mentioned Lee um, about negativity that it's our natural it might have been you or me I can't remember now or blurs, but negative is our natural state it's like you know, our brain just goes to negative. If you think of a challenge, you always go, oh, what's the, you know, it's almost like um, Chicken Little, is the sky's falling in. And I, and I still feel that. When there's something that happens that hits me really hard, I think, oh, it's never going to work. That's my initial brain, and I have to be aware that that's happening. Go, right, okay, I understand, but what's the reality? How bad is this really? And what can I do? And as we reference all the time, what's in my control that I can actually do? And the most thing in your control is you and your behaviour and your attitude to whatever the thing is and that is being the change so if you're in a company right now or in a business or if you're in a team or if you're at work and you hate the atmosphere you have to be that start of the change it won't happen even if um, you see other companies says I want to have a positive culture sets out a load of values if you agree you know things you've got to agree and that's a purpose behind them but that's never going to happen without everybody towing the line but someone's got to toe the line, someone's got to start the, the ball rolling. All because a, a CEO or a leader says it's going to happen, it won't happen unless that leader's going to do it for sure. It doesn't happen unless anybody, everybody else starts to try to do it. Now, if you don't agree with it, that's different, but why don't you agree? What's the reason? How can you change that? What can you start to change? What can you start to influence? What's the reason? What's the fix? Let's start making a difference. Let's start making a difference everywhere, everywhere, everywhere we are. And by listening to this and taking a small action, just a small step, even if it's, you know, just speaking to a colleague, hey, look, you know, how are you going? You know, I know, you, you know, I heard you in that, and you made me feel a little bit negative. But what's going on there? Finding out what's going on, what's driving these things, and let's see if we can really help people make those shifts so we can all live in a better world. I do understand we're never going to live in a utopia. I understand that. I get it. But let's start making these changes and do them ourselves. I think, you know, this is one of the biggest things you can, one of the biggest changes you ever do is by you stepping into the breach 
you being the warrior stepping into the into the gladiatorial arena of le of going first go first to see what happens um it's brave it's difficult um but it's really rewarding if you can stick at it it's not easy though but there you go lee any thoughts on any of that um and you you when you started talking there i did think about the it, it was a theory i breached a while ago or broke should i say a while ago about the fact that like it's almost like negativity is the natural state and you have to to push against that in whatever way you can um especially with I think it is part of our defence mechanism from back being in the wild and obviously protective things and things like that. So it's hardwired into us. So you do have to train yourself almost to be more positive. It's almost to be happy is not the natural state and you've got to really work really hard at it. And we've talked about that quite a bit in previous episodes. So I think it's interesting you tie it to that because all of those things all come together with that attempt, if that's the right word, at being negative, uh, at being being positive against the negativity you you do have to fight that because most people will be in that natural state they will be trying to protect themselves so like you said the only way to drive it is you do have to be brave to make that change that you be what you want to see um and it is back to it's, it's like a hyper version of the, the circle to control you know if you don't like where it is you can't control anyone else in that but you can influence and you can positively influence and you have to take that control and you have to take those steps but again it's it's hard work, which brings me back to that view of, you know, being happy, being positive is almost always the hardest thing to do and not the easiest thing to do. Um, and if everywhere we've talked about it, it comes with a challenge. It comes with consistency. It's it's all a version of taking that cold shower in the morning, which I still don't do, by the way. I absolutely hate that and I'm not going to do that. I'm still doing that. I, I, I don't do it it's like for like, I do it a couple of minutes, but why do you know when the electric shower goes on? I yeah. I had explained before and it's like, well, if someone's just had a shower, when you it, it like goes hot and it goes really cold for a while until it warms back up again, I just stick my face in it, put my body in it, and, and I say to my beloved, when I've had a shower, oh, go on, you try this. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it because, again, that helps me go against the tide. Like, it's training. It's training myself. I don't, I don't always do it. I just want to try those hard things. So I'm trying to train myself to, when com life comes on and hits me, I want to be able to absorb it and try and move forward just move forward a little bit at a piece of time not massively but bits and pieces but and I, and I think i like a lot of what you said around positivity and being happy and i think there's a you know there's a difference between positive being happy there's a difference being positive and positive because people think of positive thinking and but we have being not being fake positive oh like, hun no no 100 percent agree that's not, not going, like 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 what i mean <laughs> is this is like you go into your workplace, it's terrible, whatever, it's horrible. And you go, hey, everyone, it's a happy place. Well, it's not. It's not great, is it? Um, don't do that. Just do the small things yourself. Like, you know, maybe you could, you know, if it's a really terrible place and no one's helping each other out, no one's happy, maybe you could just get a round of, you know, a tr some treats and just hand them round randomly without saying anything. But that would be, say, massive amounts in saying what the changes you want to see. So it's things like that. Um, but I'm not saying, hey, everything's great. It's like Chicken Little sticking your head in the sand and not recognising... This is, you, you keep right. referencing Chicken Little. You've not done this for a while. You love that as a, as a point of reference. No, yeah, know. you've but you've not, not for ages, but you went through a spate oh, really? of reference it quite a lot. But I think you're right, that disingenuous thing, because that doesn't, that's not necessarily the culture people want, to be, people want to be a part of. I saw, I can't remember what it is, it's some film. It was a few years ago, but it was kind of satire in the whole um, Silicon Valley type world where you're almost forced into that you know it's like oh we're having a pic a picnic at the weekend and you know anyone who wants to come can come but it's not obligatory oh i'm not going to come but why are you not going to come are you not oh. part of what we're doing and they they i mean it, it was it was very very tongue-in-cheek but i think it was illustrative of some of the, that sort of thing you're talking about with the um the the disingenuous happy as opposed to the the genuine positive like you said and it's you, you don't get there by doing it. It's, it's back to the hard work again. It's not one conversation and a few smiles and a superficial thing. It's it's deep-seated, deep work every day being consistent that drives that. Um, but like you said, if that's if that's who you want to be, if that's the world you want to live in, then you should be doing that every day anyway. And it's it, again, it's being that brave person to take those steps and be the change. Well, do you know what you just sparked with me? Be the person you want to be. I love that. Like, see the... Like, so... 
you know, when you do that thing, maybe you, you, you go into that room and it's really negative, it's horrible, and no one's been helping themselves for the past 10 years or whatever, it might be horrendous, but you're the first one that's brought in some treats for the last six years. No one's done it. The leaders haven't done it. The CEO's not done it. But what you're doing is you're leading by the front. You're going, well, I'm going to start to do my thing and I want to be that person that makes those changes. And that's really difficult um, and really hard. But that is like going back to James Clear's thing about if you want to be a person, you have to be clear about what the type of person you want to be and what the change you want to see. And when you do, like, say, you're, you, you do that act of kindness, say, to you want because you want to encourage people to sort of communicate and collaborate. And you do something very, what seems to be very small, but it's not. It's very brave because in a, when it's very, when, it, when you've got environments that are very toxic, it's very hard to do those things. And I've experienced toxic um, cultures. And I've got to say that I wish I'd had this more thinking in those moments. I probably could have done more. Um, but I didn't and so this is what I'm encouraging so I'm really making a concept of wherever I go whatever I do I'm going to stay true to, to, stay true to me and James Clear talks about every time you take an action whatever action that is is a vote of the person you want to become so if you take actions against the thing you don't want to do you will start to become that person you don't want to be because you're doing the actions which support the thing that you don't want to become so it's really important that we keep in our radar and our consciousness that we take actions that align with who we want to become and whatever, however you want to record that, whether it's you write it down, whether you have an animation, because I know Lee was talking about last week, whether you have like a, 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 a journal, whether you listen to a podcast, whether it could be this one, download this one, and every day you're going to like listen and you're going to take one action every day that's going to support the person. You know, this could go for anything from being more, more of a positive person, maybe not always happy, because I think it's unrealistic to say we're always going to be happy because life's not like that, but we can be positive in terms of what are the actions we're taking. And we can put a vote every day, just once or twice a day, we're voting for that person when we become, and after time, we will become your identity. And you will just, you won't even need to think about it, you'll just be like that. Um, and you will attract people that want to be like that. Because in those places, there will be people that are just not brave enough. But because you lead the way, people say, well, if they've done it, I want to do a bit of that. But it's creating it, it's starting. So, yeah, be the person you'll become. Be the change you want to see in the world and just start by doing the deeds and you will see changes start to happen. I promise. It's really good. Anyway, Lee, what do you think? No, I absolutely agree. In Go fact, I, I don't know if it is something you can talk about or not, so we can just reference it very vaguely if not. But this is, you've done this quite recently. And I say quite recently, it's been a bit of a long burn, but you promoted something you believe in and there was... Mm. Not resistance, but it was different. And you just decided, well, I'm just going to keep talking about it and I'm just going to keep doing it anyway. And you've done that and it's 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 manifested itself and it's grown and it's bigger and more people have got interested in it. And you're, I think you've absolutely lived exactly what you just said, which either we can just say the proof is in the pudding, we do do this, but you'll have to trust that it's there. Or you can elaborate that on that a little bit, but I don't know if that's appropriate right now or not. Well, it People know that I love coaching, right? If anyone, that's the one. You know, people just talk about coaching, and um, I'm very passionate about it. And I've got a lot of reasons. If you listen back to the episode, you know why I'm very passionate about it. I don't want to continue to say it, but I, I will say it, you know, in later podcasts because there might be new people on the podcast. But you, if you are new to the podcast, go back and listen. But it's helped me so much, and I truly believe in it. So now it's just thing, thing that I talk about all the time. So if everyone talks about, like Lee says, if you talk about Jose, wherever I work, wherever I go, oh. It's about coaching. The person you randomly bump into at a shopping centre and never speak yeah. to again, I expect, to say the same thing as well. <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. But the thing is, I really struggle with that identity. And it, you know, to about James Kidd, talk about be the person you want to become or be the change you want to see. I, you know, many years ago, I, did, I could, didn't believe that I could do this. Like, I thought, but one day I just sat down and decided, right, I want to be a coach. So I had to start just doing coach things. Like, what would a coach do? A coach would just try and help people ask questions what the power question so again it's the practice and anytime there's an opportunity is just taking the opportunity to talk about it not in a preachy way but in a way that helps someone so they so they recognize the value and you bring something new to someone's awareness but not in a forceful way you know okay if you've got a, you know if someone's got a challenge ask you for an opinion you go well have you you ask a questions instead of you provide advice so practicing that in the moment and of course, if people say, well, what would be a solution for this? You know, coaching is such a great solution for so many things. Um, and it's, it's just so powerful. And so, yeah, and uh, I started it off with very little traction. 
but now it's got a ton of traction. And I think you live you live your life in cert- you are surrounded by might be too much, but for huge parts of your life now you are in a coaching environment and I think that's because of all these conversations in all these different places and you know people have started to gravitate to it and you've you've made that a reality for yourself I think that's that's the exact example of what we're talking about here in a very very big way that you can grow that for yourself so I say it's, it's a great quote and it's great advice but actually it's something you've done and can prove it works as well well, the next stage is, of course, getting the nation right out there and really getting us out there. So this is what we're doing right now. We're actually, we want to be out there doing live podcasts, touring the world and spreading this message further. You know, that's a beautiful, not... beautiful transition there, Joe. I'd just like to say, if you want to help with that message, just follow us on Twitter yeah. at listen to and listen to OIN, share, like, comment, all of that stuff gets it up. It's all about boosting the algorithm. So wherever you are now, if you're live on YouTube, if you're watching this back on YouTube, if you're on TikTok, if you're on one of the hundreds of podcast platforms that we're on, leave us a review, hit subscribe, hit that five star button. All of those things are what promotes the message. And if you like what you're hearing, tell friends, tell family inspiration nation just stick it into your google machine and they can get on board as well and follow us over at inspirationnation.org.uk sign up for joe's newsletter get some merch help spread the message even more all of that is about spreading the love there's so many uh, we've got we've got we've got likes going on in the chat so thank you so much for the likes i'm just trying to look at the messages so if you've got any messages please pass them now thank you for the likes i really appreciate it. We've, got, we've got 164 likes so well let's get those likes up because and share the live Really appreciate it. Thank you, Stephanie, for joining. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lucas, for joining. We've just got to get the love out there. Um, so thank you so much for spending your time with us today. But as I say, this is what we start. You, 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 all of you on TikTok are the ones that are helping us spread the message. So keep doing it and ask questions because you've got the opportunity now and, and I can look at them and I can ask Lee. So, yeah, this is what this is all about. This is it. And we do genuinely appreciate it. 30 minutes a week, wherever you're watching or listening or consuming this is a, you know, it's a good chunk of time. It's precious. So we do genuinely thank everyone who's chosen to spend that time with us each and every week. Yep. And please keep liking this, keep liking this TikTok because we want it to keep going up. So please keep liking. Last week we had about over a thousand likes. Um, we're definitely over the amount of people that have liked. So it's good. I really like it. So yeah. So anyway, but that was really... Um, I'm not sure whether we've got any more. Any got any more? I haven't. I really like that, Joe. It's a really good message. It's helped reinforce some of the stuff we talk about, and I, I think it's a great mantra to live. That, that's a real every single day mantra to live by. I love it. So I'm just going to ask some questions. So have you got any questions on 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 YouTube? Just let me know. Have you got any questions? TikTok. Let me know. Put some questions in the TikTok, and we will deal with some questions. If you've got any questions about what we talked about, please ask questions. I know there's people in there, so please ask questions. James W. Hamad. Alexander Lynn four two four six. I've got to be careful with the names actually because last you get caught out, don't you? You get caught oh, out because I keep reading it out. Yeah. So actually, the the the, the, the names are okay. James W. <laughs> I've got to just be careful. Thanks for joining. Um, so thank you, thank you. Just keep joining, keep liking. Please ask some questions. I want to. I'll have some questions so we can. I can put them to Lee. Um, so don't feel free to ask questions. So um, just a little bit of. Uh, oh, thank you for that. Just to tell you, I was wondering, can I do a little bit of promo for my um, child? You can child do this. Has just released some live music on Spotify, Meg Noya. Please go and uh, stream it on Spotify. So two tracks that have gone live. They're live tracks. They're awesome. Please support Meg Noya. Um, go look, look, look them up on the internet um, and go like their their uh, their music because it's awesome um it really is um it's really i think actually one of the tracks they've released is actually one of their best tracks i think they've done so it's incredible so please go and like that meg Neuer, go stream go share and also don't forget about the nation please share and stream the nation too in fact i had um, the nation on my alexa the other day and it says recently listened to inspiration nation if you've got an alexa device please say uh, play Inspiration Nation podcast and it will come up. Anyway, I'm sorry. Excellent stuff. No, good promos. In fact, we're, we're hitting our time limit now, Joe, so we should probably wrap oh. things up and we'll be back again oh. next oh. week for oh. everyone. Don't forget, you know the thing we've got to do at the end before we go, though. Takeaways? Yeah. There we go. What's your takeaway, Joe, from your quote this week? Well, my takeaway is, be, you know, my takeaway is vote for the person you want to become by taking those action. So the, the action is the vote for you to who you want to become. But be clear on who you want to become and what the impact is. I'm going to build on that and I'm going to say be consistent. That is my takeaway this week, Joe. Good Super. bit of advice. 
So if you want to join us live, get involved, just look Jose Noy, Inspiration Nation, both YouTube and TikTok. Follow, subscribe. You will get notified when we go in live each and every week. And of course, we are on YouTube forever in a day and on all podcast platforms. And just stick Jose Noya, Inspiration Nation, into your Google machine. Find him on all those platforms. And give us a follow over on Twitter at listen to i n listen t o i n. Right, I'll count us down and we'll be back again next week. Three, two, one, Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this Inspiration Nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another video is going live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.